What's up, family? Professor T's back with some more reacting to undiscovered music. Today, we're checking out Animal Revolt. So, Animal Revolt is a Dutch indie rock duo formed in 2019 by Jado Nelson and Marishke Shilton. I probably butchered the pronunciation. I apologize. I mean, no disrespect. But I'm a stupid American, and you know how we are with knowing how to pronounce things. So I apologize to you if I got your name wrong, but I tried. I just wanted to at least try to give a bio and a shout out to you. So without any more long-winded in introduction, let's look at Animal Revolt. This picture of us official music video. Very few views on this. 16 views. I do like their um, video though. I think it's cool, the animations. I would love to have a music video like that where it's animated. I can't remember the name of the show. It was like a show from like Nickelodeon from back in the day that that, that, that reminds me of that style. Shoot, I can't remember the name. It's, we're talking like 20 plus years ago. but. <laughs> What is bothering me, I can't remember the name. Some of you might know what I'm talking about. It's a Nickelodeon cartoon from a long time ago that had like this type of style. As always, I pre-screened the music, but this is my first time really adding a critique to it. So this is a little bit more... Um, it's definitely still got an indie rock feel to it, but it's a little, um, a little bit noisier. It's definitely not quite as um, soft as some other uh, indie rock is. There's a lot that happens in this song too, so that's something that's cool. It's definitely um, it moves, it goes somewhere. That week is quite complex with the um, songwriting here. Pretty simple. You just got electric guitar, a little bit of bass. Like right here, it's not like just bass by itself with a little distortion and some drums on this part. Now the guitar comes in again. Just something simple. If you look on their YouTube page, you'll see it's apparent that, like, I think this cartoon, that looks like the people that saw the banner of the YouTube page. So I think this is, like, them cartoonified. So with the vocal performance here, it sounds good, but... You definitely, that's why I like checking out the bio. You can tell there's an accent, which I always bring out because it changes how you have to listen to the singing when there's an accent involved. Very simple guitar solo. You know what? That's not even a guitar solo. That's like a keyboard with distortion, isn't it? Maybe. You got me on that A little bit of duet action going on there. Now here comes the keyboard. Now I can hear the synth back in again. Pan art left. Aw, how cute. Alright, bring it back to me. Hold up, fool. 
technical difficulties. Sorry about that, guys. Got another song start playing. All right. Shoosh. Reactions to that one. Cool song. Cool music video. Once again, you already know how I feel about listening to music from other countries. I love it. I love hearing people from other parts of the globe, hearing how they do their thing over there. And I like this a lot. And so this is an educational channel. So, of course, there's always things to learn from. So I'm going to offer the critiques at this point of the video. Okay. I do not want to sound harsh because I do. I hope that you guys listen to this. So I'm not being harsh. I'm just being honest. With that synth sound that was at the beginning, that almost turned me off from this song. Until I listened to that, I got past that part. I was not feeling the synth sound at the beginning. I'm just being honest about it. I know that's mean, and I try to be positive, but if, if I'm giving the critique, that's my critique. That synth sound at the beginning, either take it out, turn it way down, or change it. Because I might not be the only one that would click off of the song when you hear that. Because you hear that, you're like, man, this sounds like some SpongeBob, Looney Tunes, Cartoon Network. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just sounds kiddy with that sense. So that's my kind of harsh critique. But seriously, like, I, that's a big one for me that I had to critique right there. I don't like the synth sound at the beginning. That could have been different. Um, other critiques. So then from there, there's just a more kind of generic preference critiques that I give everybody so these aren't anything specific to this song just like with the vocal performance for example something that check out the upcoming videos coming next Friday uh, next Friday is going to be the first part but stay tuned to Friday's pro, pro, pre, pro so, whatever the Fridays after next you're going to see the rest of the series that's going to actually dive more into the vocal performance but with the vocal performance phrasing is the thing that comes to mind on this one that I think could be improved with that. Like, it definitely, everything was on a key. Uh, it sounded good. It had some energy to it. Um, but with phrasing, phrasing encompasses more than just breath control. Phrasing encompasses what words are grouped together. What's the inflection that's put of those words? Where does the um, grouping of words increase and decrease in volume? And then also, the length of each word. So that's something that I would think about. I felt like there's some places in here where the phrasing got cut short. So um, I feel like on that, that's something that um, to consider. Once again, um, this is a Dutch rock duo, as I read in the bio. So when it comes to the vocal performance, I always keep that in mind. So that would be my critique. And I, like I said, when I do the critiques, it's educational. It's not just targeted at the performer. It's for everybody that's watching this, that's making your own music for... A suggestion of what can make yours better. And uh, that's what I would say. Then in the mix, which is part of, part of what the first critique I had was with the mix. I think that the mix, it could have been for this a little bit um, more crisp. Because I, there's a lot that's happening um, here. Because there's, there's a lot of guitar and bass that's happening throughout the whole song. Like there's not a lot of space in terms of how it's written. So I feel like that space and that separation between the instruments could have been created in the mix a little bit better. And especially because I felt that because of that, it drowned out the vocals. So I feel like just maybe with the mix, maybe bring the vocals out a little bit more in the mix and then just adjust the guitars so that it has a little bit more separation between them that I can hear each guitar clean. It could tell the difference, even though it sounded like I said, it's just like an electric guitar and bass, but I want to be able to hear each one clean, like each one is its own pocket that I can listen for. So that was the critique section of the video. So now we're going to move on and see where does it rank on the Professor T Billboard charts. So we're going to go over to that Animal Revolt picture of us. Very nice song. Very nice. Beautiful music video. Well done. Well done. So, the placement of this one, believe it or not, it started out at number 23. I'm going to leave it there. Now, I know, as I've said before, two things. The Billboard charts is not a reflection on the quality of the song. It's a reflection on 
my preference and my recommendations of songs for uh, people to listen to at the end of the year. So number 23, um, the second part about that is my look back is at the bottom of the list right now. But that's for right now. A new song will be added every day. So this will move around and that song will end up higher at the end of the year. It's just for right now, looking at the list, I think that um, for this one, I slotted just beneath Faith Quinn, King of a Thousand Skies. That was a kind of video game soundtrack inspired song. I felt like that one places for me in my billboard chart just slightly above this one. Just because I felt like with that song compared to this one, that song, it was a little bit more different. You know what I mean? So that's the reason why I would put it above that. I like things that are a little bit more different. Things that kind of stand out um, above everything. So... So once again, that's no offense to anyone, but as I always say to end out that section of the video, I hope we can all be adults and realize that it's just one man's uh, preference for what I have on repeat when I'm driving in my car. And Faith Queen is a little higher. So with that being said, to Animal Revolt, to um, two people in that band, to everybody across the pond and around the world and to everybody at wa at home watching this i love what you do i had a great time listening to this and i hope all of you did too i share peace and love with all of you and i'll see you in the next review